All right, moving along, done up to question eight. Let's do nine, 10, 11 in this video. Okay, so question nine, give your answer in set notation. Okay, 9a. So we're looking into inequalities here and they want to know about 3x minus 8 is greater than x plus 13. Okay, solve the inequality and then we've got a second one as well which has it there. So let's solve this first. So we end up with um, not 3x but 2x moving the x to the other side is greater than bringing that across there 13 21. Okay, giving us x is greater than 21 over 2 and that's x is greater than 10.5. So to put that into set notation, you need to have your wiggly brackets, which I can never draw, but we'll do our best. And we need to say that the values of x fall under the rule of x is greater than 10.5. So any number for that. Okay, for part B, we are looking at solve the inequality of x squared minus 5x minus 14 is greater than 0. So if we were to put this into the calculator for the quadratic, okay, using coefficients of 1, minus 5, and minus 14, then we get values of it would be x is equal to 7 and it would also be x is equal to minus 2. So what do we do about the set notation on that? If we have a little look at what that graph looks like, it's a positive x squared. So if we were to draw it positive x squared is going to go through at 7, it's going to go through at minus 2, and it's going to curve around like this. And they want to know where this curve is greater than 0. So all of that part of the curve is greater than 0, and all of this part of the curve is greater than 0, which means in terms of our inequalities that we need to write down here, we want to have an x that is smaller than or less than minus 2, okay, i.e. the minus 3s, minus 4s, going down this way, and also the x's that are greater than 7, i.e. the 8s, 9s, 10s, going in that direction. Okay, so writing it into set notation then, funny brackets, so we have minus 2 which way around is it? It's going to be the other way around, isn't it? So we end up with a set notation of x is less than minus 2. And it is, because it's a split set of values, that will need to be unioned with, I should have drawn my um, axis a little bit shorter. It's going to be unioned with x is greater than 7. And that is it for 9a and b. OK. Number 10, then. Question 10. Find the set of values for x for which x minus 1 in brackets 
x minus 4 in brackets is greater than 2 times x minus 4 in brackets. Okay. So. Okay, so there's two ways of doing this, really. There's a very fast way. Um, and then there's a more visual way. Taking this side here, if we were to multiply it out, we would get a quadratic. Okay, x squared, something or another, plus 4. What's important about that quadratic is it would solve for x equals 1 and it would solve for x equals 4, which means we can draw it. Okay, and so being a 1 and a 4, and being a positive value, um, and the fact that it's up here on 4 as well. So that's the left-hand side. Okay, now that's less than whatever this right-hand side is. And this right-hand side is a straight line, which is 2x minus 4. So we're down here on minus 4 for the intercept. And 2x means that by the time we've come across 1, we've went up to 2, so we're about minus 2. And by the time we're at 2, we're at 0. OK, and so it comes across something like this. Um, by the time we've come across 4, um, we would be at about 8, and so the 4 there, OK? And it carries on like this. So the question now is, it's saying that when this... Um, it's saying that when this quadratic is less than this line, and that is between these two points. So we need to know where these two points are. We need to know the intercepts, OK? Which means we're on to simultaneous equations. All right. So what are we going to get as we intercept them? All right. So in the long history of my videos uh, having mistakes in them, 2 times minus 4 is not minus 4, it's minus 8, meaning that the intercept down here was minus 8. All it does is it brings it in a bit more like this, okay, which is a more realistic line. But ultimately, the idea still sits the same, that we are going to try and solve this equation. Okay, so if we multiply it out, I think we're going to get x squared minus 4x minus x plus 4 and I'm going to change the less than to a oh in fact no I'll leave it as a the less than is equal to the 2x minus 8 so x squared minus 5x minus 7x when you bring the 2 across 8 9 10 11 12 plus 12 is greater than zero and we end up with an x equals three and an x equals four when we've put it into the calculator and you can see there that yes we've got a three we've got a four so we have the notation of x is greater than the three is less than the 4 intercept notation for the final answer. OK, question 11 for the last one of this video. Using algebra, solve x minus 1, x plus 2, equals 18 and hence or otherwise find some set values for when it's greater than 18. So if we were to solve this we could say x minus 1 equals 18 and we could also say that x 
plus 2 equals 18, giving us two solutions of x is equal to 19 and x is equal to 16. There's part A. Now, of course, you cannot do that, and it's complete and utter gobbledygook. What we need to do is we need to take the x minus 1 and the x plus 2. So it's equal to 18, and we need to multiply it out. So we end up with x squared minus x minus uh, plus 2x minus 2 equals 18. And so we get x squared minus x minus 20 equals 18. And when you solve them, you get an x equals minus 5 and an x equals minus 4. Okay not minus 4, you get x equals 5 and x equals minus 4. So x equals minus 4 and x equals 5. Okay, now then, with that done, hence or otherwise, find the set of values for x for which it is greater than it. Okay, so Nothing more needs to be done with this, except for writing out the set notations, okay? And again, looking at the graph, it's where it is greater than zero, okay? Because that's what we solved it for, even though it's not what I wrote. Okay, so we're basically looking at where x squared minus x minus 20 is greater than zero. And again, Looking at your graph here, this is your minus 4, this is your 5. It's just like the previous one we had, where it's everything in this direction and that direction. So, x is less than minus 4 in union with the set of x which is greater than 5. Okay, so that's part B. Okay, so be careful of the trap that I fell into at the beginning of thinking it can be solved just like that.